Five Herbs for Erectile Dysfunction. Hello, great people. According to research recorded by the National Health Institute of America and compiled by Deborah Rose Wilson, PhD, MSN, RN, IBCLC, on BC, CHT of Healthline. Aphrodisiacs help with erectile dysfunction. The following herbs help with ed. 1. Panax ginseng. 2. Maca. 3. Yahimbine. 4. Ginkgo. 5. Mandia white. 6. Horny goat weed, or epimedium. 7. Muesli, or chlorophytum borovillinum. 8. Saffron, or crocus sativus. 9. Tribulus terrestris. 1. Panax ginseng. Works as an antioxidant, releasing nitric oxide, no, that helps erectile functions. Some people use a pea ginseng cream concentration for premature ejaculation. Stamina, stress, overall well-being. Clinical studies show significant improvement in penile rigidity, girth, duration of erection, improved libido, and overall satisfaction. 2. Maca. For overall health benefits, maca is a great addition to your diet. Maca, also known as Lepidium mayoni, is rich in amino acids, iodine, iron, magnesium. There are three types of maca, red, black, and yellow. Black maca also appears to alleviate stress and improve memory. And stress can cause ed. In animal trials, maca extract significantly improved sexual performance in rats. But this Peruvian root has minimal evidence for its direct ability to improve erectile function. Studies show that eating this root may have a placebo effect. The same researchers also found that maca has no effect on hormones levels. 4. Mandia white, which is roots from an African plant. Mandia white, also known as white's ginger, is particularly popular in Uganda, where medicinal plants are more common than medication. It's used to increase libido and manage low sperm count. Studies suggest that M. white may be similar to Viagra in that it increases the following. Sexual desire. Human sperm motility. Testosterone levels. No production and erections. In fact, there's even a drink called, Milando wine, that uses M. white as an ingredient. M. White is considered an aphrodisiac because of evidence that it increases libido, potency, and sexual pleasure. Studies in mice suggest that M. White is also fairly low in toxicity. 5. Yahimbine, a West African tree bark. Yahimbine comes from the bark of a West African evergreen tree. For the last 70 years, people have used yahimbine as a treatment for ED because it's believed to activate the penile nerves to release more NO. Widen the blood vessels to increase blood flow in the penis. Stimulate the pelvic nerve and boost adrenaline supply. Increase sexual desire. Prolong erections. One study found that 14% of the group that was treated with yahimbine had full stimulated erections, 20% had some response, and 65% had no improvement. Another study found that 16 out of 29 men were able to reach orgasm and ejaculate after completing their treatment. A combination of yahimbine and L-arginine is shown to significantly improve erectile function in people with ED. L-arginine is an amino acid that helps expand blood vessels. It's regarded as safe and effective for ED but can cause side effects like nausea, diarrhea, and stomach cramps. Avoid taking L-arginine with Viagra, nitrates, or any high blood pressure medications. Dosage. In the trials, participants received about 20 mg of yahimbine per day, throughout the day. While tests have shown positive results, yahimbine's adrenaline effects can cause side effects that include headaches, sweating, agitation, hypertension, insomnia. Talk to your doctor before taking yahimbine, especially if you are also taking antidepressants or stimulant medications. Ginkgo biloba, herb from a Chinese tree. Ginkgo biloba may increase blood flow to the penis. Researchers discovered the effect of ginkgo on ED when male participants in a memory enhancement study reported improved erections. Another trial saw improvement in sexual function in 76% of the men who were on antidepressant medication. This is why researchers believe that ginkgo may be effective for men who are experiencing ED due to medication.
but some studies also report no improvement or differences after taking ginkgo. This may mean that ginkgo is better for ed management than as a treatment or cure. Dosage. Talk to your doctor if you're considering ginkgo supplements. Your risk for bleeding may increase, especially if you are on blood thinning medication. Other herbs reported to treat ed. These herbs have shown a pro erectile effect in animals such as rabbits and rats. Horny goat weed, or epimedium. Moosley, or chlorophytum borovillinum. Saffron, or crocus sativus. Tribulus terrestris. Always talk to your doctor before trying a new herbal supplement. These herbs in particular have little scientific evidence of their effect in people. They may also interact with your medications or cause unintended side effects. Potential risks and side effects. The Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has not approved any of these herbs as a medical treatment. Many herbs come from other countries and may be contaminated. And these herbs aren't as well studied or tested as prescription medication like Viagra. Always buy your supplements from a reputable source. The FDA also warns men against purchasing supplements and creams that advertise themselves as the herbal Viagra. Herbal Viagra is banned because it can contain prescription medicines or other harmful ingredients that may cause severe side effects. In most cases, the harmful substances aren't listed in the ingredients. Consult your doctor before purchasing any over the counter or online ed treatments. When to talk to your doctor? Make an appointment with your doctor if you have other symptoms accompanying ed. Or if your ed is affecting your quality of life, it's important to mention any supplements you're interested in during your visit. Don't forget to tell your doctor about any symptoms that you may be experiencing or feeling due to ed. These details can help your doctor find the right treatment, especially if there's an underlying condition causing your ed. If this is the case, you may not need herbal supplements. What causes erectile dysfunction? Ed is often a symptom, not a condition. An erection is a result of complex multi system processes in a man's body. Sexual arousal involves interaction between your body, nervous system, muscles, hormones, emotions. A condition like diabetes or stress can affect these parts and functions and can cause ED. Research shows that ED is mostly due to problems with the blood vessels. In fact, Plaque buildup in the arteries causes ED in about 40% of men over 50 years old. Disclaimer This video is meant for informative purposes only. The video should not be used as any kind of diagnostic criteria or treatment. The above statements have not been approved by FDA. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please subscribe, like, and share with others.